Hey everyone, Mike from Akai here, and in this video, I'm going to walk through setting up an Akai Advanced Keyboard to sync with Pro Tools and control the transport via MMC. The first thing we need to do is change the sync and transport settings in the Advance's Global Settings menu. On the Advance, hold down Shift and press the Browser Global button to enter the Global Settings menu. Use the arrow keys to select Transport Format and turn the scroll wheel to select MMC. MMC stands for MIDI Machine Control, which is a widely used standard for sending remote control messages via MIDI, and the best way for the Advanced Series to send transport, play, stop, and record messages to Pro Tools. Next, navigate to page 3 of the Global Settings menu and change Clock Source to External. This will allow the Advance to sync with Pro Tools so that the arpeggiator and note repeat functions of the keyboard will follow the tempo of your Pro Tools session. Navigate to page 4 of the Global Settings menu and push the scroll wheel to save your changes. The keyboard's all set, so let's take a look at Pro Tools. I've opened up Pro Tools and created a new session. First, we need to make sure that Pro Tools responds to the MMC transport messages we're sending from the Advance. Go to the Setup menu and select Peripherals. Click on the Machine Control tab and check off Enable underneath MIDI Machine Control Remote Slave. It's OK to leave the ID as 127. Click OK. Now, when you press play, stop, or record on the advance, it will control those functions in your Pro Tools session. The last thing to do is set up Pro Tools to send MIDI clock information to the advance. Go to the Setup menu, select MIDI, and click on MIDI Beat Clock. In the MIDI Beat Clock menu, check off Enable MIDI Beat Clock 4 and select the advance. Click OK. Now, whenever Pro Tools is playing a recording, it will send the necessary clock information to the advance so that the arpeggiator and note repeat will be in sync with your session. That's it. Please leave your questions and comments below, and thanks for watching. Until next time. <laughs>